hi guys welcome back to another simple tutorial this is Azulam here thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos if you're new here you're welcome consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get to know anytime I post new videos and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for always checking my channel out so today we are going to be sewing a drop shoulder pleated flower girl dress for a wedding party so if you are interested let's get started so here i have all that i'll be using to make this dress and i'm going to be listing um, the measurements the yardages and the inches i'll be working with i'm going to list all in the description box so you can just check that out to see how many yards or inches or the measurement that you need to make this dress so i'm going to start with the pattern because that is the most important part of this project okay so here you can see i have i just duplicated my pattern this is for a year old and this is the pattern here okay so this is the front and this is the back as you can see it matches nicely so the first thing i did was just to duplicate that because i don't want um, to spoil this pattern so i'm going to keep this aside all right now we are going to start with the front pattern okay so this is the front pattern now the first thing to do is to mark from this shoulder line i am going to mark one and a half inch downward so this is one and a half this is the point okay this is just to let us know where the drop shoulder will fall into okay so just come down from the shoulder line one and a half inch now i am going to start with um, a cap sleeve for example you want to make um, a cap sleeve um, drop shoulder it is very easy so i'm going to start with that before the normal um, short sleeve okay so now for the cap sleeve first all you need to do is to add your cap height from this shoulder line okay so i believe by now you know how to get or how to calculate for um, a cap's height i have a detailed video on that and i'm going to drop the link in the description box so you can check that out so for this age the cap's height is two inches so from here now i'm going to mark two inches which is at this point okay so after that i'm going to square it up to this shoulder line okay so i need to bring it down to this one and half point so that it will level up okay it's almost there so i'll just connect it now this way to this shoulder line so this is what i have i just extended that line by two inches which is the cap height Why from the shoulder i came down by one and half inch so the next thing to do now is to mark out the same um, cap's height that you use. Like now I use two inches. I'm going to mark that out on this part. But this part you can also decide how low you want this area to be. Okay. So I'll just mark the two inches as well, which is at this point. Then you can just easily connect. So I'm just using this to connect. If you want, you can also give it a round shape at this point. So let me use this edge to connect it. So this is what I have. You can see that this now takes the look of a cap sleeve. So for this edge, you can just decide to um, curve it so that it will not be pointy on that end. All right, so if you want to make a drop shoulder um, cap sleeve, this is it. All you need to do now is just to cut it as it is that way and then cut your lining and place it and sew that. But for today, I will not be using, um, I will not be making it a cap sleeve. I am going to make it a short sleeve. So how do you make it a short sleeve? So first and foremost, we are going to adjust what we have here. That is if you want to make um, a short sleeve drop shoulder. 
So now I want the shape on this part to be curvy. You know that your sleeve should not be straight this way, except you want to make um, a kind of booboo dress for the child. So your sleeve should be a little curvy on this end. So all I'm going to do is to, from this point now, this is the two inches. Remember that, which is our cap, um, cap's height. I will just go in by half an inch, which is this point here, and then, on this end now i will also mark half an inch downward this way okay so just go in half inch then come down on this side half inch and then give it that slight curve okay i just want it to be a little curvy on this end okay now you can see i'm just trying to blend it nicely so you can see that the sleeve is a bit curvy on this end Alright, so now I am going to check what I use as the um, armhole measurement. That is the initial armhole me measurement and here it is 3.5. Okay, it is 3.5. So I'm going to mark that 3.5 now. From this point that we just dropped down, I'll mark the 3.5 and this is where it is. Okay. This is where it is and then the next thing to do is to get the midpoint is as if it's just um it's just like transferring what you have here to this end that is just what i'm going to do okay so this is 3.5 so to get the midpoint it is 1.75 which is here and then i'll go in by 0.75 now the difference from this to the initial armhole is that the initial one I used half an inch inward while this one now I am using 0 0.75 inward. So after that we connect. This part is very easy as you can see. So I will just connect and then join it, blend it well to this part. So now this is what I have now this is how to go about making a short sleeve drop shoulder um, dress so this is what I have if you don't want to add any sleeve you um, sorry if you don't want to add any design on this part you just leave it as it is and so but if you want to add any design you are going to leave it straight you just connect it straight this way and then attach uh, whatever you want to add on these parts so i'm going to cut this off and then sh and sew it so you can see what i'm trying to explain before showing you the other side that is straight that is if you want to attach uh, like a bow as you can see on the thumbnail you cut it straight but first i'm going to sew this to show you the look before um drafting the straight one and then attaching the bow so now I'm going to cut this out and then show you how to draft the back side before we continue. So after cutting it out, this is the shape that I have and as you can see, it is already looking so nice. Now if you decide to use the cap sleeve um, this is what it should look like. This is how it's supposed to be. That is, if you want to make a cap sleeve, drop shoulder, it should look this way. So now for this, I'm going to um, repeat the same on this back side. You know that the back, um, the back shoulder slope is not the same with the front shoulder slope. So I need to draft it again. If it's the same, you just uh, place it over and then trace it out as it is. But it's not the same, so I need to do this separately. Okay, so but I'm just repeating the same thing just from the shoulder again. I'll mark go down by 1.5 inch, which is here. Okay, so I'm just um, repeating what I did here. So just mark my two inches. I hope this space here will, will be enough. And then I'll square it up. Okay, so this is 1.5 inch point here. Then I'll square it up. Okay. So now, remember what I did? 
by marking half inch inward and then half inch downward this way so we can give it that curve so after curving it now we are going to transfer exactly what we have on this armhole to this part like i said this side now i can easily take this and place it as it is and then just connect it this way and then we are almost through okay so the back pattern is ready this is it now you can see that this side is bigger because my zipper allowance is included so i'll go ahead and cut it out then place on my fabric and cut so we, i will show uh, i'll sew and show you how this part look before um, drafting out the straight one that is if you want to attach um, a bow on this armhole side so let me just quickly cut this out i believe this part is clear all right so i just repeated what i did with the front okay just follow the same step and then you will get it right so let me so after cutting it out this is what it looks like and you can see that it matches nicely on this armhole area so now what if you want to uh, assume you want to attach a yoke on the dress so how do you do that it is very easy all i'm going to do now is to mark out the initial armhole which is from here to here and that is 3.5 i'll just um, connect it to a straight line this is 3.5 okay just follow the line and connect it to to be straight as it is okay all right so this is the correct line there this is not straight so just connect it straight as it is now you can uh, measure it from this point remember that this part now it is 0 0.75 that we use as the shoulder slope so you can mark the 3.5 from here so you just all you need to do is to connect it straight as it is now for the yoke it's very easy all i'm going to do now is to mark one inch upward now if you want it to be too deep it's up to you you can make it 0 0.75 or half okay but for me i don't want um I don't want it to open so all i'm going to do now is to connect it from this edge here to this point so i'll just use this and then connect okay so all this part now it is the yoke all this side is the yoke if you want you can also make it curvy you can decide to just you know play with this part make it a little curvy like this okay so now it is a little curvy so now this part it is the yoke while this side is going to be your satin so if you want you can also um repeat the same on this back side you just connect it straight okay and then like that and join it but for the back instead of going up you can just you know connect it straight to that armhole line so let me just connect it one time so you see okay this is a straight line like i was saying just place your ruler and connect it straight to this um, chest line and here you have the back yoke so all these parts is going to be the yoke while this other side is going to be the satin so for this yoke part i'll use um i'll use my net for this side so let me just cut this off but when you're cutting on your fabric make sure to add your sewing allowance that is the allowance you use to join the yoke and the satin make sure to add that so i'll just quickly cut this off and then cut all this out of my fabric so we can sew it for you to see how it looks
So this is what I have after cutting um, all of them out and you can see that I have both the lining as well cut out. So I'm going to start by sewing this yoke part. So I'll just take the front as you can see and then I'll take the back and place it over just the normal way that you sew the um, shoulder. So I'll just match it together with this and then I'm going to stitch it or just close the shoulder up and then I'll repeat the same on this other side and whatever I did here I'm going to repeat on the lining okay so I'll just place this to match it up nicely and then I'm going to stitch the shoulders together and then sew the armhole together with this but before sewing the armhole you need to join the lining this one that is the lining the shoulders together first then i'll place it over making sure that the front is facing each other and then sew the neckline so this is it after um joining the shoulders together as you can see i decided to sew in this other part so that you can see the structure that we have here now you can see that the drop shoulder really fits in nicely so like i said earlier if you want to uh, maybe extend the sleeve part on this part you don't need to curve it in just leave it straight as it is and then you cut out a straight um fabric that is you determine the length that you want the sleeve to be i just cut it out straight now why you don't need to um curve it that is if you want to extend the sleeve is because from this i have this is my sleeve pattern if i place it here you can see that all this part already you don't need to curve it in all right so this part has taken this curved area so just leave it straight and then cut out straight um, um sleeve and then extend your sleeve so on this part now i will um attach my my bow okay this side you can decide to embellish it or add uh, a bow to it just to make it uh, to be more beautiful now you're going to sew the lining same way okay you're going to sew the lining same way after sewing the lining you place it over on this that is making sure that the front of your that is the right side of your lining is facing this right side and then you sew the neckline and the armhole and then turn it inside out and give it a good press then you can now join the skirt part to it so that is how to make a drop shoulder um, dress for a baby girl so i believe you were able to grab one or two things from today's tutorial so that is it for today please subscribe if you have not and i will see you 